Uh, we are here joined by Lila Downs, uh, an incredible musician, composer. Woo! Thank you very much for being here. It's very special for us. So Lila, you're a Mexican national, uh, but grew up both in Mexico and in the United States. Uh, you're also, uh, your family is also very multicultural. Uh, your father is Scottish American, your mother is Oaxacan with mixed up descent. Uh, uh, but having said that, it is clear that in your music and in your performances, it is the Mexican side that really stands out. Uh, what would you attribute this to? As I, I grew up in, in both countries, I consider myself a very privileged individual because of that. Um, I discovered my native Indian ancestry slowly as I was becoming an adolescent and uh, falling in love with the dangers of life, like uh, passion for things. <laughs> and uh, mezcal is one of those things. And I, um, I feel that I also continue to learn with my husband, Paul Cohen, who never gets any credit for anything. <laughs> And we just stand here in the background patiently and co-composes most of our songs. We do our songs together and we work together and we are in love with Oaxaca. Oaxaca is a magical, <coughs> mystical place in the mountains of southern Mexico where I learned to fall in love with the clouds and the mountains and to venerate the Mother Earth the way that our ancestors, our native ancestors, have been doing so from from long, long before the Europeans came to this continent. And what, you, what, what is it that's most important about Mexico that you want to communicate through your music and through your performance? I think the passion. Passion is one of those amazing things that um, it, it provokes uh, thought, love, enthusiasm, um, all the amazing things that humans can possibly come up with. On the one hand, we love to have our pistol on our, on our hip, but we also, we want truth and we want a um, progressive future for our Mexico. Um, and, and at the same time, uh, we, we love to celebrate life by giving, by giving to the Mother Earth and, and receiving from her. What advice would you give uh, to the paisanos or to the Mexicans living in the U.S. that miss their country, that want to do, that want to give back? Or what advice would you give to us? I would say that I have learned in my life to to create my own ritual. In some ways, what I was taught by my my Indian grandmother was mixtec woman, and in a way to preserve faith, because I think. Uh, Faith can come in, in so many shades and, and, and styles, and, and it doesn't have to do with dogma and religion. Really, sometimes we can speak of it. Faith is, is something that gives us strength and helps us believe in ourselves, and that's what this album is about as well. I think through keeping faith, you will find your passion, uh, and, and, and I think that's a great way of giving up. When you find your passion, I think I found mine from the scout and starting Oaxaca and Scott. Um, so I think that is a, a, a great answer. Um, the, next, the next topic I want to discuss is art. I had the chance to be in Mexico City last week and I went to the Museum of National Art. And there's an exhibition there also called Picados y Milagros that uh, Lila helped put together. And it's about, it's a combination of old and, and contemporary ex votos, which are uh, votive offerings that people uh, come up with, with a drawing, it's an iconic representation and some text, giving thanks for a specific miracle. And it's a really very nice uh, exhibition. And, uh, and I just wanted to see if you could tell us a little bit more about how this came about. I would like to say that I, I physically didn't, didn't put together the exhibit that uh, Munal had previously done a show with Elin Luque, who is a special, specialist in the subject of, of retablos of um, an exhibit of uh, the historic retablos from dating from 1700s. And um, what we did is that I mentioned my idea to Demian Flores, who's also a painter, a uh, Oaxacan painter, and he, he mentioned to many painters who were interested in collaborating with us 
and composing a retablo, or a votive piece, dedicated uh, and inspired by one of the songs that we composed, and also traditional songs like La Cruz de Olvido and uh, um, <coughs> other songs, Fallas de Corazón, some other classic Mexican tunes. Capaz de perdonar <risa> el cruel y despiadado de tu querías. Hoy imploras cariño, aunque sea por piedad. <risa> 